Hi everyone, learning chemistry with Daddy Sharp. Today we are going to learn transition elements. Disclaimer, the video is for the education purpose for Form 4 and Form 5 students in Malaysia. It is hoped that all the diagrams and the examples will provide you a better understanding. Transition elements are placed in group 3 to group 12 in the periodic table. So as you can see here, the elements that are in yellow color are called transition elements. And in SPM level, we just focus the transition elements in period 4. So the members of the transition elements in period 4 are as below. We have scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron, nickel, copper, and zinc. Generally, all the transition elements are metals. That's why they have the common characteristics as metals. So most of the transition elements, they are solid metal with shiny surface. So there is an exceptional case here. We have one metal which exists as a liquid state. Do you know what it is? So please comment after watching the video. And then all the transition elements are good conductor of heat and electricity. They have high melting point and boiling points and then they are hard, malleable and ductile. So because of the malleability, they can be made into various shapes and then the, the copper can be made into very fine wires. Next, we move to the most important part of this subtopic. So transition elements, they have four special characteristics. So we said that most of the transition elements, they will show different oxidation numbers in their compounds. And then transition elements, they can form colored compounds and ions. Transition elements, they can act as catalysts in industries. And then the transition elements, they will form complex ions. So if possible, you have to memorize these four special characteristics of the transition elements with examples. Now, let us take a look at the first characteristics of transition elements. So most of the transition elements show different oxidation numbers in their compound. For example here, from the name chromium 3 chloride, we know that the oxidation number 4 chromium in this compound is plus 3. For another example here, potassium dichromate 6. So from the name here, for potassium di dichromate 6, we know that the oxidation number for chromium in this compound is plus 6. So that's why we said that chromium as a transition element, it has different oxidation numbers in different compounds. So I show you another two examples here. Iron 2 plus and iron 3 plus, uh, which are very common in SPM exam. So I used to tell my students the different charges here are known as different oxidation number. So that's why from the name here, iron 2 sulfate, we know that the oxidation number for iron in this compound is plus 2. When you look at the name here, iron 3 chloride, we know that the oxidation number for iron in iron 3 chloride is plus 3. So unlike other uh, group 1 elements, so the charge of ions will be always plus 1. So we look at another example here. We have copper 1, we have copper 2. So different charges here are known as different oxidation number. So that's why copper 1 oxide when you look at the name copper 1 oxide, you know that the oxidation number for copper in copper 1 oxide is plus 1. And when you look at the name copper 2 sulfate, the oxidation number for copper should be plus 2. So this is a very special characteristic of transition elements. Next, transition elements can form color ions and compounds. In different compounds, the color of the transition elements will be different. For example, for chromium 3 ion, so the color is green. Chromate 6 ion will show you yellow color. Dichromate 6 ion will show you orange color. So it is good if you can memorize all this color. 
for your SPM exam. And these three ions are the importance ions, or I should say, they are very popular ions in SPM exam. So you have to memorize the color for iron 2 plus ion. So iron 2 plus ion is green in color. Iron 3 plus ion will show you yellowish brown, or you just write down brown will do. And then in solution, copper 2 ion will show you blue color. And then I show you three different materials here. So the color for copper 2 sulfate is blue. And then copper 2 carbonate is green solid. And then the color for copper 2 oxide is black. So do you notice that the color for copper in different, uh, in different compounds is different? So that's why we say that the transition elements can form colored ions and compounds. So transition elements play an important role in gemstone as well. So for example, you have emerald, amethyst, topaz, ruby, and sapphire. So you look at the ruby, you look at the sapphire, they are very beautiful because of the transition elements. Next, transition elements can act as catalysts in industries. So catalyst is the chemicals which can speed up or increase the rate of chemical reaction but remains chemically unchanged. For example here, catalyst, iron is added during Haber process to produce ammonia. Vanadium 5 oxide is added during contact process to produce sulfuric acid. For Oswald process, platinum is added to produce nitric acid. And then for hydrogenation, nickel is added to produce margarine. So what do you understand by chemically unchanged? So for example, in the Haber process, iron is added. So in the end of the process, iron still remains as iron. So it won't form iron 2 chloride, iron 3 nitrate. So that's why we say that it is chemically unchanged because it still remains as iron. Now, we move to the fourth characteristic of the transition elements. Transition elements, they will form complex ions. For example here, for iron, iron will form hexacyanoferrate 2 ion and hexacyanoferrate 3 ion. From the word hexa, hexa means 6. So, the formula for the ions is quite complex. Actually, from the name, you know that it is very complex. So, it has 6 cyanide. And then this one has 6 cyanide. So that's why we say that has a cyanoferrate 2 ion. And then these are the structural formula for the complex ions. But for SPM level, uh, we just ignore this one. But it is good if you know how to draw the structural formula of these complex ions. So summary for the lesson, transition elements are placed in group 3 to group 12 in the periodic table. Transition elements, they have four special characteristics. So transition elements can form different oxidation number. They will form color ions and compounds. They can add as catalysts in industries and they will form complex ions. And it is encouraged that you can memorize two examples for each special characteristics. So that's all for the lesson today. Thank you for watching.